I've been busy. I've been busy for about the past month, you could say. Um, hunting season opened September the 8th for archery, and I have been learning a lot. Uh, this is my first year participating in archery season for hunting, and I have had to learn a lot of new things. Um, and I think, I think it's about time that I share them with you. I'm gonna, gonna show you guys my new crossbow and some of the things that go along with it from a pure beginner's perspective. Um, so stick around and let's check out the crossbow. Here is my crossbow. It is a center point sniper 370 crossbow. Center point archery is actually the same company as Crossman. You may know Crossman from their air rifles. I have a Crossman 760 Pump Master BB pellet gun that I got when I was 10 years old and I still have it. Um, so Crossman has been around for a while and this is one of their crossbows. The Centerpoint Sniper 370. I have it sitting out here. Um, the quiver attaches to the crossbow. I have it off just for display and for another reason that I'll explain in a moment. Here are some arrows. Um, some people call crossbow arrows bolts. I did some research on that. Uh, if it's 16 inches or under, you may call it a bolt. Generally, if it is over 16 inches, it is called an arrow. These are 20 inches long, so we're going to call them arrows. That is the rope cocker, which is how you cock the string on the crossbow, and I will show you that as well. So let's get to it. This is not meant to be an overly complicated video. I am not going to try to teach you all the ins and outs of the crossbow yet. Um, I am by far uh, no expert on this yet. I can only continue to learn. I'm just sharing with you guys uh, just some of the things that I've learned because I think it's pretty cool and uh, I think some of you have expressed uh, interest in my hunting and this is what I'm going to be using to do it. Um, so I'm going to show you a few things about my crossbow, a pure beginner's perspective. Today I'm going to shoot this target with some arrows. I'm going to be checking the accuracy of the crossbow. We'll be using field point or field tip arrow uh, heads on my arrows. They're meant to shoot this type of target. For hunting, we'll be using what is called a broadhead. This is a mechanical broadhead. Um, it is held secure with a little rubber band. I took it off for this demonstration. But for hunting, you'll shoot a, either a fixed blade broadhead or a mechanical broadhead at the animal and on impact it opens up and uh, you can see that's um, gonna do some damage. It would also do some damage to my target here. I don't have a broadhead target um, so I can't really practice too much with broadhead arrows but these are a hundred grain field tips. These are a hundred grain broadheads they should fly uh, just about the same. Uh, so let's try some field tips at the target. It's very important to check your accuracy on any weapon that you intend to fire, especially if you're gonna use it for hunting and you plan on taking the life of an animal. You want it to be as quick and accurate of a kill as possible. 
Um, I have been hunting with the crossbow. I had the scope zeroed in at what I estimated um, the distances would be, and I was hitting the bullseye. Um, but a very important tool that I just acquired is called a rangefinder. I just got this. I've checked and made sure that my target is actually 20 yards away and I'm going to be checking the accuracy of 20 yard shots with the crossbow. Have you ever wondered how to cock a crossbow? Um, sure you've watched movies and TV shows with popular characters with crossbows and maybe you've seen them cock it with just their hand or something. Well I'm going to tell you that is almost impossible. You need a way to cock your crossbow um, and mine you use this uh, cocking device, rope cocker device, rope cocking device. I've heard it called a few different things but anyway it's just a couple of hooks attached to a couple of pulleys and you've got the handles um, that you grip in your hand and trying to keep it as even as possible um, so your string is cocked evenly then you just uh, pull up firmly and evenly until you hear the crossbow click. It clicked. I can remove my rope cocking device. I can toss it to the side. If I were hunting, it would go in my pocket or bag or ground blind or wherever. Um, just in case um, because crossbows don't cock very quickly but you need to have it on hand just in case. The co crossbow is now on safe. There is an anti dry fire uh, safety as well. If you dry fired a crossbow it could be catastrophic to the bow and it could injure you as well. Crossbows should never be fired without an arrow, just so you know. But now this crossbow is cocked. I am ready to load it with an arrow, and we are one step closer to shooting at the target. Okay, so I've used my rangefinder and determined that the target is 20 yards away. Um, now I'm going to show you how to load the crossbow. You're going to have your cocking vein down in the trench of the rail over here. Um, generally speaking, the vein that's the odd color is the one you would put down, but these arrows a friend of mine gave me and he indexed the spine on the arrows and he uh, marked which vein, which vein is supposed to go down. So. I'm going to put this one down, push it back. Now I can put the crossbow on fire because I'm ready to shoot. Now I can adjust no, puppy. my rest here and I have the 20 yard reticle on the center white bullseye I'm going to move from safe to fire I've made sure that no children are in front of the crossbow and there is nothing behind the target that I'm worried about hitting so we are ready to take an accurate shot bullseye so I'm happy so far we are accurate still at 20 yards I'm gonna take a few more shots but that's how it's gonna work I gotta tweak this thing a little bit more this is my first time using the Caldwell dead shot field pod um, rifle and crossbow rest this thing is amazing let me tell you this is probably going to go out in the woods with me. Um, 
whenever I get a ground blind. So, um, yeah, very cool. I'm gonna fire the second arrow at the next target. Um, the next bullseye I am aiming at is going to be the black circle on the far left. So the, the left circle black. You don't want to aim at the exact same bullseye as the last arrow you shot. Because although how cool that would be to pull a Robin Hood and hit an arrow with an arrow, um, that would ruin your arrow. So that's why a lot of targets have more than one bullseye to aim at. So I'm going to aim at the left target for the bullseye. Another 20 yard shot. All right, I am lined up, locked in. I'm gonna move from safe to fire. Another bullseye, third arrow. I'm gonna aim at the right circle. Third arrow. I will be aiming at the right circle. Go from safe to fire. I am aiming at the third circle, the one on the right below the deer's face. Another bullseye. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Well, there you have it, guys. A true beginner's perspective of a crossbow. 20 yards, that's the beginning distance on the reticles on the scope provided here. I think that's a good way uh, to end the video. Stop at the 20 yard reticle um, because this was just a beginner's perspective. Um, I've learned a whole lot in this past month and I've enjoyed every second of it. And I have some people that I would like to thank. Um, for their help in this. First, I'd like to thank my friend Brad on uh, Crossbow Nation Forum. He helped uh, get me some really good arrows to shoot from the crossbow. So thank you, Brad. Um, a lot of the other information that I've picked up, I've picked up from another YouTube channel called Death by Bungie. Uh, there's a guy named Rich. He is very, um, very knowledgeable about crossbows, about hunting with crossbows. I have watched so many of his his videos. I've messaged him. Um, he's just a really, uh, really good guy and uh, really knowledgeable when it comes to this crossbow stuff. So I'm giving him a shout out. If you're at all interested in learning more about crossbows and crossbow hunting, go check out his channel, Death by Bungie. Um, so that's the shout out for, for Mr. Rich. And then I want to thank some of our friends and uh, supporters here at Wholesome Roots for your help um, getting the, uh, the range finder, the field pod. Um, just thank you so much for, for any of the help and support because um, I know you guys really want me to get a deer for Rose and our family to eat. Um, just thanks everybody for all your help thank you guys for watching um, please like share uh, share the, vi the video subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and we'll see you next time at wholesome roots by the way the center point sniper 370 crossbow package can be found on amazon.com for sale as well as the Halo XL450 rangefinder and also the Caldwell Deadshot field pod. 
all these items can be found on amazon.com so you can be shooting a crossbow in no time. I can't see what it's doing. Yeah. 